welcome back to my channel today's video as you can see from the title it is going to be i believe it's going to be a behind the scenes of a content creator and a small business owner and a um not really nine to five but like a 12 hour shift worker um i still work at the hospital too so this is just going to be a typical day in my life um i am off from the hospital today so this is basically just going to be mostly behind the scenes of like a content creator so i do have a lot of content to do today and if you're new here hey my name is akira janae don't forget to subscribe join the family before you leave so i look a mess i literally woke up out of bed got up out of bed and went straight and dropped off a pickup order um i should have been recording then but like i said i got up got dressed in like 10 15 minutes and just ran out the house but these are how my bags look i just put the hair inside the little baggies and took it to her um i am having to order a closure for her um this is a girl that i know really well and we kind of like grew up together so she just sent me the money for the closure um because i only had bundles on hand i don't know why i didn't buy any like closures and frontals but this is the hair that i have left i don't have any light in here really so i have two 16 inches i have a 18 inch i have a 22 26 28 i have two of those and i have two 30 inches so i'm not surprised that the long ones didn't go out didn't go first um i did get a girl that bought three 26s but like 30 inches i did a poll on my instagram and a lot of the girlies liked some of the shorter lengths so like 16 to like 22 24 was like the top ones that everybody likes so these are still on hand i have nine bundles left i started off with 25 i did use three of them but yeah super exciting um thank you all already so much for supporting me and literally showing me so much love it's been amazing um right now i think i'm gonna go ahead and get the shein vlog out the way or shein portion it is 311 right now and i just made a thumbnail so i'll show y'all that this is a thumbnail I made for a vlog that I just edited last night. So it's going to be a day in the life of a small business owner. Basically, I was packaging orders, um, showing my new shipping supply, putting that up, showing my office space and all of that. And this was just a quick little thumbnail. This is a screenshot out of the video. I took these two pictures and yeah, I made that on Canva. What are you barking at? <laughs> But yeah, so I just made that and I just got done uploading the video. So I have two videos as unlisted. So this one will be uploaded on Sunday. Today is actually Friday. So I got a couple more days to upload that. And then this is the one I just uploaded, the entrepreneur vlog. I call it studio vlogs now. I guess it's like the thing that's going around. And then I just published this one yesterday. So that's doing pretty good. 2,265 views. So yeah. I kind of already have the videos uploaded and then when Sunday or Thursday come that's my normal uploading schedule then I will go ahead and obviously turn this into public and this is make sure they're monetized getting my money for them and yeah that's all of that um like I said I'm about to do the Shein portion I already recorded the actual like Shein haul I guess um, I just have to try on the clothes. So I do use Final Cut Pro. Um, I may try to use CapCut. I may download CapCut and see what that's talking about because the girlies are eating it up right now. But yeah, this is me just talking. The video is 16 minutes, so not too long. This is me talking about the clothes, showing the clothes, and then all I have to do literally is just model them. So since I already went yesterday and kind of got like my lashes done, um, I'm going to just do my eyebrows, touch up my hair, obviously, because this is like bed hair. I literally got up and just rolled out of bed. And I don't really know if I want to do foundation or not. Like, I may just do like some concealer, get rid of these little dark circles and stuff. And I may just call it a day because I really do not feel like doing a full face of makeup today, if like being real. Whew. It's like some type of like warm. So yeah, that was that was a mouthful. So I'm gonna do that first, and then I'm gonna um, when I'm done with the she and stuff, I'm gonna sit down and try to figure out Shopify some more. Like I'm gonna do the you can print out a mock up order. So this is the label that I got and the labels, and then I'm gonna like 
figure out Shopify a little bit better because I do get to review my website tomorrow. I'll probably vlog again tomorrow. This will probably be like a two-day vlog. And I'll let y'all kind of get a really not even a sneak peek. I'll let y'all see the website because by the time y'all see this video, <laughs> the website's already gonna be up and running because this is my like calendar content plan calendar so my sunday reset will be posted on the 5th then my studio vlog will be posted next thursday she and vlog this sunday and then this vlog that i'm recording now the behind the scenes i'll probably post this on february the 16th so i usually post sunday and thursday i'm trying to be more organized trying to be more consistent that is my goal of 2023 consistency that's my word I'm trying to stick to it so yeah then i'll just need one two three more videos for the month of february and then february will be done girl so trying to be productive i'm about to go ahead and start like on my makeup try to do my eyebrows and then i also have this this is kind of my plan i got this little booklet from five below if y'all saw that blog it was like three dollars and i have eight off days so these eight off days i have basically planned out my days don't know what i'm doing monday through wednesday but Right now, Thursday and Saturday, I mean Thursday and Friday, this is kind of what I'm finished. All right, so uh, today is Monday. It is 7.43, I think I already talked for today, but part of this vlog, uh, behind the scenes of a life of a content creator, YouTuber, small business owner, whatever, is getting packages. And I've gotten a few packages today. One is right here. This video is also sponsored by i believe you pronounce them t-u team you something like that <laughs> but they sent me a big old big old bag of goodies so we're gonna dive into this all right real quick before i finish the haul out i wanted to hop on real quick and just say that timu is an online marketplace that offers the most competitive price products in multiple categories as you can see they have fashion jewelry home decor pet supplies and so much more like even stuff for your car all kind of stuff girl so that's why i was on here picking out all kind of random stuff but it was literally stuff that i need or could use they do offer top quality products at an ultra affordable price so that everyone can enjoy the convenience and the comfort of also, life also wanted to mention my coupon code i did pop it up on the screen for you guys it will be down in the description box below as well so you can just check in the description box find a link below to the featured items in the video you can use the code for 30 percent off they do allow up to 90 days of free returns and free shipping baby girl they also got afterpay this stuff is already cheap but girl get on it and they do have a 90 percent spring sale coming up so definitely get on here check them out all the stuff that i had is definitely a 10 out of 10 i really enjoyed every single piece so i thank you again timu for sponsoring this portion I'm of the so video i'm so excited it's a lot of household items little small kitchen gadgets i think i might have gotten like two clothing pieces so this website has literally everything that you can ask for but I wanted it basically because of the cool little gadget stuff. So I'm just going to pull literally from the top. And the first thing that I have, oh, I know what this is. Um, but this is what you put your paper towel roll on. And I got it in black, obviously, so it can match my home decor. So you'll just slide this onto your cabinets or under your cabinets on your cabinets i'm going to probably slide it under like this and then have the paper towel roll coming down like that i think i'm going to put this in my bathroom possibly but we'll see next thing that i got what is this oh uh, um digital thermometer looks like they gave me two unless it came <coughs> like in a two pack y'all know i love to cook and uh, I want to cook chicken breast a lot more than I already do. So chicken breast is really tricky. I don't know about y'all, but comment down below. Does it? Okay, when I cook chicken breast, I either cook it too long or I undercook it. So I really, really wanted this when I saw this. It's just a digital thermometer put inside the meat. You can check the temp and so I can know if it's done or not. So I'm super excited about that. The next thing that I got is a six pocket hanging purse organizer. Um, I am kind of stepping up my purse game. So this is how this looks. Uh, obviously got it in black. So you just hang it on to your um, door. You got a little hanger on there. And then you just slide your purses in there. What is this? Oh, these are the jeans. I'm going to get into that last. 
this one is I believe this is what I put or supposed to put your bras in so yeah you can put your bra in here and then you can wash your um, bras like this so the wires and stuff it doesn't really get thrown around too much so it got two little cups right there put your bra in zip it up throw this in the washing machine while your um regular load is washing next thing that i got are <laughs> so i just bought like a lot of random stuff they allowed me to pick out a lot of items so i kind of like ran out of stuff to get i just got these regular plain little like white cups i thought they were going to be a little bit smaller than this or my thought they would have been bigger than this to drink out of them so if they were i may use this for my mouthwash so I do have little bitty cups, but they're a little bit smaller. They're like shot cups. So I use those for mouthwash and then I just pour my mouthwash in the cup and then go like that. So I may use these for mouthwash or hey, may put this on a bar cart and use it as shot cups. <laughs> the next thing that I got is literally just a whole freaking bag of goodies. I'm so excited. It's like Christmas all over again. Oh, this is a lint remover. So this was all of this stuff is literally under $10. I wanted to throw that out there. So you can literally find everything that I'm showing you guys under $10, under $5. And I'm so excited that they had this. I've been eyeballing one of these for a while off of Amazon and Amazon price was so much more than compared to what they're offering it for. And this one was just so cool. So it's just a um, lint remover and oh it already comes with batteries okay period i'm excited to use this and i guess this is like the little charging port so it's probably it's probably not batteries it's just ran by usb next is a <laughs> meat tenderizer y'all are probably like girl what the heck are you doing in this haul literally i just picked out random stuff but like random stuff that i need or could use and a meat tenderizer has also been on my wish list for a minute it's a little dusty i'm gonna have to wash this off but y'all know I cook a lot and I be needing a meat tenderizer. So super excited to use this. So whoop, I got this. I don't know. I, I have no idea what that is. Not a clue what that is. Oh, I do know. Okay, this is what you're supposed to put your toothpicks in. So I have two picks on my dining room table right now. I may do an overlay, but literally they're in the original container and it's it's not that aesthetically pleasing. So y'all know I love the clear acrylic. So I got a clear acrylic toothpick holder, period. <laughs> I remember because of this, this is what I'm gonna put my cheese in. So instead of having it in the little bitty, little plastic baggie that it come in, You'll just take it out of like the Velveeta wrapping paper when well, like not completely unwrap each single cheese. You'll just take it out the packaging and then you'll put it all in this one and you put all your little square cubes of cheese in here. Exciting! I can't wait to put this up. And was just talking about a spray bottle. I don't know if I was talking about a spray bottle in this vlog or the one before this one, but Y'all know if y'all watch that vlog, either this one or the one I just posted, my spray bottle is broken. I literally have to spray my hair every single day. Cannot wait to use this. We're gonna be using this probably in the morning or tonight. So yeah, just a regular plain white spray bottle. Use it for water and leave-in conditioner. Yes, cannot wait to use that. I've been needing one so bad. The next thing that I got is a mini sealing machine, USB charging, open bag, and seal bag. So if you eat chips or whatever you need to seal back up, I've been eyeballing this also for a minute on Amazon. You can use this to actually seal it back. So if you don't have like a chip clip or anything, which I do, but I would much rather have it kind of like um, sealed tight. Oh, this is cool. I'm going to wait and read the directions, but literally you just swipe it across here and it literally seals the bag up for you so next goodie i have oh we honey you know you're gonna let it cook a spray bottle for your oil so my little oil dispenser thing that i got from the dollar tree is not good at all so it looks like this and obviously i guess you just put it in there like this and then it has the little um funnel to where you can actually like pour it in here so it doesn't spill like that i'm excited to use this i'm about to put all this stuff together right after i put these groceries up okay baby this is in a box what is this 
I swear it feels like Christmas. The joy and the behind the scenes <laughs> is so fun. Getting stuff. Oh, I know you kid. <laughs> Girl, if I could find a picture, I'm gonna post a picture on here. I thought, Girl, I just know you kidding. I just know they kidding right now. If this had the dimensions on the website, I swear to goodness I didn't read them. Girl, this look like for a Barbie doll house. I know you kid. I just know you lied. Girl, I thought they were giving a pack of like, I don't know, 25, 50, 30, whatever, how many this is, of like, really huge size like cooking trays girl this is something that my little niece will play with have is this is a glass cleaning brush so literally you just use it to clean your glasses um i've seen this go viral on tiktok but i wasn't about to pay whatever price he was wanting so literally instead of using oh wow this works really good oh wow it really works <laughs> So yeah, instead of using the little cloths or whatever, this is just so much easier. Let's test it. Oh wow, yeah, that really works. Three more items left. This one is a kitchen and dining set, cooking utensil set. Um, don't ask who I got this. <laughs> I initially wanted to get it for my bay, but I did already kind of get him some cooking utensils and I already have at least like 20 over there so but they're cute like girl these are cute so it says kitchen and dining set on there let me, let me just open them you can't tell me these not cute girl these are cute and i got these because y'all know i got new pots and pans and those are stainless steel well, not stainless steel, but like non-stick. And you cannot use metal and stuff on those. So I have some plastic one of these, but I kind of want to throw away my plastic ones and get some, you know, cuter, sturdier ones. So these are like really the soft kind of bendy ones. And I mean this, and oh, really I wanted it for this. My other whisk, both of them, they're metal. So I would rather want one that's like this. So yeah, I don't think I'm going to get this today. <laughs> I kind of want this. Uh, this is cute. Two items I got. I did get a pair of shoes. Um, they have some pretty good looking shoes on there, girl. I hope I got the right size. It's a size 40, so I think that's a size 8. I might have should have got an 8 and a half. I feel like my foot grew. Um, but yeah, I just got them because they're a cute, like neutral color. The It's really bright right now, so it's showing up like really, really bright looks kind of white back here but they're not white um but i thought this would be cute it's kind of like memory foam they feel good um i could probably use this as like my gym tennis shoe hell i can wear these out now that i'm getting older you know like some people didn't care about name brands to begin with some stuff i care about name brands some stuff i don't but like as you get older little shoes like this and like from Shein and shit especially the girlies that love to eat a bh gate baby y'all y'all be getting everything off of there so oh they fit <laughs> bro these are too cute you can't tell me these not cute girl okay yeah so these are gonna be like my new gym shoes or i can just throw these on to go run some errands real cute they're just a really cute neutral tennis shoe feels amazing definitely true the size i'm a size eight oh, these are so cute girl now that I got some tennis shoes from there. Okay, these pants, I think I got it in a size three. Oh my gosh, I'm about to go back and order some more stuff from them. <laughs> oh my gosh, I'm about to be like, please send me some more stuff. Okay, so, oh, I got a size small. So I guess the size small. Okay, I'm gonna try these on real quick. Okay, so the small fits, but for how long is the question. I'm gonna have to wash them because they kind of do have like a weird smell. Um, I got the ones that kind of got the cuts in the knee. They go all the way down. Um, they fit. It's just I probably should have gotten a medium because I'm probably going to be able to wear these pants. <gasps> See, like they're ripping right now. 
at the knees. <laughs> I'm gonna be able to wear these pants maybe a good five to six times, give or take, without eating. <laughs> Um, so yeah, let me go change it back into my shorts real quick. It's haul a 10 out of 10. Like there's only <laughs> two things that took me by surprise, <laughs> really. But everything else I'm definitely going to use and I'm about to probably put up right now after I put up my groceries. Um, thank you so much for sponsoring this video. Thank you so much for sending this over to show all of my viewers. <laughs> I think they're giving me a coupon code. If so, it'll be on the screen or down in the description box below. Definitely go check them out. Everything I just love. Like I don't, I don't know what my favorite would be. My favorite. <laughs> Okay, so I'm gonna try to just put like concealer under my eyes. Uh, I'm gonna go in with the Juvia's in 16 because the other one that I use is the Too Faced Born This Way. I feel like this is a little bit lighter. And then the other one I got is this Too Faced Peach Concealer Peanut Butter and this is like really, really light. So, I don't know. I feel like this one is light. So that's the Too Faced. And this one is Juvia's. Actually, Juvia's is a little bit lighter. <laughs> so um, we're gonna go in with the Too Faced Born This Way. Cause this one is my original anyway. The Juvia's was Nikki's, my best friend, and she's lighter than me. So we're gonna do that. And then, I don't know, cause I don't want it to look like, see how light I am right there, but I don't wanna do like a full face. So I may add like one little drop right there. So I'm gonna blend this out. I usually like to let it sit for a little bit, but it's already 3.58, so four o'clock. And I'm trying to have me recording this stuff done. Like I don't wanna, I don't want to record longer than like an hour and a half. So I give myself about an hour and a half and that's all I want to do. This is actually really bright. So I may have to put foundation on. minimal makeup is done i'm gonna go ahead and start defining my curls in my hair hair from my brand <laughs> so i'm gonna start on this side i didn't even really wrap my hair last night so that's bad don't be like me but yeah so and i like that little thingy so i'm gonna do water just regular water my spray bottle is a little broken so I'm laying my edges um now since I'm done like with my makeup and my hair all of the clothes are over here on my couch boom then usually since i'm doing a clothing haul i'm gonna need like a like a clear black i can't even hear myself that's why i'm messing up i'm gonna need a clear background um so normally i do like the clothing shoots right here um i'm gonna have to move the dog stuff over there move those gates this bar cart i'll probably just scoot over out the way because i like to have my fireplace be like the center like the main attention or the main attraction whatever in it 
um, with this, I think I normally just put this in the middle and I keep that right there because I kind of be like, I want to turn it. So I'll be like this. So that's why I need the bar card and all of that to move. So I'm going to move all of this stuff and get this set up. Now I'm about to set up my like laptop and get that ready. So what I do is take one of my bar stools from the kitchen. I get some type of box. This for instance is those roses. So I'm gonna use this. I usually try to stack something else a little bit higher, but then I get my laptop, put it on top of here, open it up. Then I'm gonna have to disconnect my camera for this part and I'm gonna like probably put my cell phone up to show you guys. Go to this part. Um, I think it's in viewer. Let's figure this out. I always forget. Okay, no, it is in remote. And then it says the camera is not connected. Check the USB. So this is where I connect. Let's drop my damn camera again. This is where I connect the cord, this piece to my camera, this part to the laptop. And then I will start recording on my iPhone now and then pop this in there. Okay, I'm now recording vlogging off of my phone. Hello. <laughs> so this is my camera set up. So what I like to do is to turn this sideways with the flip side up. Make sure that's even. Okay, so I have to turn my PC remote function on. If you can see right here, it says PC, so that means it's on. <laughs> my camera's already turned this way. Then over here, we're going to refresh and it should pop up. There we go, ZV1, click that. And then wait for that to connect and bow, there we are. So as you can see, I'm right here and then it's casting onto my computer. So I do big screen, turn all this stuff off and then we're going to rotate, rotate myself since I'm not recording horizontal, I'm gonna record vertical. So we're gonna flip it like that and there we are. <laughs> and this is how when I do clothing hauls, this allows me to see better because y'all know I wear glasses and I can't see. Even people who don't wear glasses, I don't really see how they just record from here. So this kind of blows it up a little bit bigger. I know somebody on TikTok has said that they um buy like a 24 inch or like a 32 inch like little TV. They're like $130 or cheaper than that. And they buy the TV and then they just shoot their content. Like they do the HDMI cord and put it into the freaking TV. So that is smart i'll probably do that when i get a um two bedroom i am planning to move if i find a two bedroom and if i can't get a two bedroom then i'll probably get like the 24 inch tv and like cast it like this because you can see so much better because this is still small for me but at least this screen is bigger than this screen so it's out of my content so the next thing i do is actually plug up my laptop so this doesn't go off on me so i need to get the longer extender piece if you didn't know this can actually come off and you just unhook it like that and then the macbook comes with the longer cord at least mine did this was a 2017 macbook i bought it then and it just clips so you have a longer cord so this cord i'm going to plug up over here where my ring light is like that and see how long it is and then we're going to plug this into the laptop should reach yep and this is basically how my setup looks when i record these so i put the boys in my room this little nigga decides to get in my bed what is you doing <laughs> and prince is over here so i locked them up because i can't have them getting into my shot so i have my first outfit on we're going to restart this because i turned this off to kind of let it not overheat then we're going to click on that again 
it's connecting. Dun, dun, dun. Here we go. Big screen, turn, and that's how it looks. And then when I do this, I do like a test shot and then I'll go back and look at it. And then I also like obviously put on my glasses to make sure it looks good. But this is the first outfit. I do plan to wear this on Valentine's Day. This video is probably gonna be posted. Well, damn, I don't know. <laughs> this may be posted before, so I don't know. But this is what I'm wearing for Valentine's Day. Turned out really cute. I didn't think I was gonna like this, but I actually really, really like it. It's plain, simple, but I'm gonna try to jizz it up with some um, accessories and stuff. But yeah, this is what I'm gonna wear for Valentine's Day. And I'm just gonna set this camera up so you guys can basically. Sometimes I even bring a mirror out here so I can like see a little bit better. Obviously from the mirror, I can see better in the mirror. I took my Apple Watch off. Let me see. It is seven o'clock. Um, can't really remember what time I actually started, but the time seems to be on there. How long it took me? I have been taking a break and stuff, so I probably got done about like 25 minutes ago. I actually been on social media, like posting and stuff, getting everybody ready to watch the vlog. Um, a quick tip is when you are ready to like drop something, for instance, so like like my brand. I've been talking about my brand since damn near July of last year. So I've been building up the hype. So therefore, a lot of people is waiting on it. They're waiting to buy it, so they did. With Instagram, um, like this Shein haul, here's one of, this is the last piece. Absolutely love this one, by the way. <laughs> but, um, so I've been posting about it. So basically I posted, let me show y'all. So this one, okay, so this is what I posted on my story. So basically, talking about it get people interested and then i also posted this one talking about it and stuff like that gets people ready for whatever you're about to post so basically it's building up the hype it's building up the anticipation it's like you know let me see what she got let me see let me see and along with doing that i also record these long ways well vertical because i also post these on tiktok instagram like reels and tiktoks so that way people from like tiktok instagram reels and stuff can probably tap into your you know youtube channel and watch so that's what i do i'm all done this is the aftermath of it all so my vanity isn't too bad this is going to be a quick little like one minute cleanup this is my setup y'all saw and then the shein tags and then the clothes the baggies i don't keep i know a lot of people like to keep the baggies um i don't really keep them and use them for anything i may keep like one or two just in case but i really always throw them out and then these are the clothes so i'm gonna wear this one tomorrow to a wedding so i'm gonna go ahead and just keep this one out like right here on the couch and then the rest of these i'm gonna hang up excuse me and put in my closet um the next thing that i have to do is take my dogs out <laughs> i'm gonna take them outside it's seven o'clock so it's time for them to eat again and then when i get back i'm gonna clean up all this stuff and then i'm gonna um start editing this i'm gonna eat first again because i only ate i think i ate it like noon and it's seven o'clock i gotta i gotta stop doing that when i create content i just be going and going and going and i'll be putting eating the, it's the last thing to do so i gotta stop that and i know a lot of creators that do that but um 
yeah so i'm gonna take them out feed them i'm gonna eat some spaghetti that i cooked last night and then after i'm done eating the spaghetti um i'm gonna airdrop and download all these pictures to my laptop so while that's downloading i'll probably be eating because it usually takes a minute to like airdrop so while that's airdropping and downloading i'm just gonna finish my spaghetti and then i'm gonna edit and that may be it for tonight um if i feel like it i may tap into that um shopify my shopify website and try to figure out how to like send out a shipping label and stuff but like i said it's already seven i'm probably not gonna sit down until about another hour so and like really start editing so i don't know i'll get back with y'all when i get back in the house from taking these little bad doggios out so i just got back in from taking the dogs out they're playing and I just um, fed them and stuff. So I forgot that I had an SD card reader. So I've already used this once from, I took the content off the SD card and put it on my phone, but the instructions say that I can also take files from my phone and put it on the SD card. So I think that'll just be easier because I literally tried to airdrop this like 10 minutes ago and it's still converting so i feel like it may be faster to just put the stuff on the sd card so i'm about to try to do that put the sd card in here split the right way this is also from amazon it's linked in my amazon storefront if you want it i also need to do a content like content must-haves i always forget how to freaking put this in here so don't mess up okay so i'm just gonna go ahead and plug this up my spaghetti is on the stove behind me warming up so it says go to photos all right so we're gonna try this again i should have enough space on here hopefully i deleted a lot of stuff this ain't got no space they line it's 10 items they're not longer than like 30 seconds to like two minutes, depending on the outfit. So it's loading at the top. I'm gonna let that do its thing. Woo. While my stuff upload, I'm gonna go ahead and eat. I cooked the spaghetti yesterday. These new pots and pans I'm on are linked in my Amazon storefront. I like to also add in sausages with mine, like the little smoked sausages, but I don't have any. So that's that. I always gotta put the sugar in my dang thing dropped off so i gotta make another label i got a label maker or i can use one of these things and then just write it like how i wrote that but yes sugar goes in spaghetti argue with your mama not me <laughs> so i'm about to go ahead and plate this real quick give me a big old cup of water and i guess i will um hang up those clothes in the meantime that i just tried on and then just clean up a little bit and that's probably it um i may try to edit a little bit i'll probably upload all of this footage into final cut pro because it's going to take a minute for it to process um and then after doing that i may just chill out for tonight it is eight o'clock now and i gotta go to a wedding tomorrow so i'll probably i'm gonna try to wake up early I'm about to take me my little sleeping pill at 10 30 maybe 10 o'clock so i can be asleep because i would like to wake up early in the morning and then kind of edit this get that done that'll probably take me about an hour to just throw the footage on top of the other footage and then i may try to um figure out my little shopify stuff that i've been talking about so this is gonna be it for today and i'll get back with y'all tomorrow because i think i'm just about to chill and relax and i caught up on all my youtube people um yesterday and kind of found like some new people to watch maybe like one person i used to watch her stuff but i couldn't find her and I, now i found her again um it's i think her name it's shannon or shannon something like that um so yeah that's really it for today i hope i've been pretty much helpful to y'all um if you have any comments this far you can comment them down below i do vlog off of sony zv1 my settings is set in 4k um, I also edit in 4K. Everything is 4K. My ring light is from Amazon. I'll probably link that in my storefront. All of all of my tech stuff is linked in my Amazon storefront. Um, I use Final Cut Pro right now. Like I said, I may try to dabble into CapCut tomorrow on the laptop to see because you can do a lot. You can do a lot in that because I use it on my phone to edit. So I think that's I think those might be all the questions y'all may have. 
pertaining to like the content and stuff but yeah i'll catch y'all tomorrow um your girl is about to relax and catch up on her reality tv okay period Good morning. Today's the next day. It is actually 12:28. I'm already got up, took the dogs out, and fed them. So I am about to start getting ready for a wedding. I'm not gonna record the get ready with me process because I kind of just did that last night when I was getting ready to film for the Shein haul collaboration deal or whatever. But my cousin did say to be ready by. Let me turn on this light. Well, she says she's gonna be here by like 1 32 o'clock so it's 12 28 it's almost one but i don't have much to do because i um uh, my hair is already done and like i already got lashes on and stuff so really i just got to do what i did yesterday eyebrows and then a little bit of foundation and concealer and stuff under my eye and that's really it somebody asked me what's my lip combination i don't have a lip combination on most days um i am one of those girlies who kind of got that natural brown outline around my lips and i used to hate that but i guess like the girlies are eating it up now so i i kind of like it and plus my lips filled out a little bit more since i gained some weight but i kind of already got like a brown outline i literally just do a clear gloss for instance this one i got for christmas it do got a little glitter in it but on a regular i just do a clear gloss or y'all know i love the fenty um this one i like to wear this and that's all other than that it's literally just clear lip gloss and just my natural lip color so i'm about to turn this ear on because i'm burning up baby <laughs> and then i'm about to do my face so i'll come back show you guys my face and then put on my outfit with you guys all right, so I am all dressed. Let me turn on my ring light. Did a little bit of foundation, a little bit of concealer, did my brows, did my edges again. This install is like really, really good. And then I had a pimple right here, so I just popped that. But I just took a few little like boomerangs and stuff for Instagram. If you follow me, underscore Kira with three A's, then you have seen that by now. Um, but yeah, this is my fit. Let me see if I can do a lighting is like horrible right now anyways this is my dress from Shein. it was in one of my hauls excited to wear this now i need to find some shoes um it's giving white accessories because yeah and it is see-through you can see my belly button ring let's go find some shoes. it is cold outside it's um girl 45 degrees but hopefully it's gonna be like inside i really don't know nothing about this wedding i don't know who get married no nothing she just said cocktail dress and baby this is my cocktail dress so um i got white boots like thigh high or knee high and then i also have some white heels so i guess i'm just gonna try to get the heels down first because i have nude also but i think white will kind of make this pop so it's in one of those white boxes it's probably that one and then my white boots is all the way up there so i gotta go get my steps through real quick okay so these are my shoe options i have a white heel this one and then i also have a white thigh boot these are not the most comfortable shoes ever so i really don't want to wear these but i'm going to try on one on each leg and then look at my little tall mirror and see which ones i like because these are like so freaking hard to get on i wear these in dallas with bay i kind of want to do boots since it's cold it'll kind of give my leg a little bit of you know but we are going to a wedding and not a club so that's why I'm thinking heel. Boo is definitely giving. It's giving. But I feel like it's not giving wedding. You know? But these heels don't really got a lot of support either. 
you know. But I can easily take my heels off if it gets to be too much. You know. My scent of the day is from Dossier. I am wearing Fruity Jasmine. I forgot which one this is mimicking, but it's mimicking either one of the YSL Dior's or something. But this smells amazing. Um, they sent me four, and I absolutely love all of them. My favorite has been Floral Violet. Literally used this completely. <laughs> and then the next one that I'm about to devour is this one. So. It's 10.47, I'm at home, been home for about an hour and a half. I stopped, ate, took the boys out. I'm about to go to sleep and I will talk to y'all in the morning to finish doing content. So good morning, I literally bought a camera mount like a week ago and still have yet to put it in my freaking car, but happy Sunday. Today is Sunday, February 5th. It is 8.45 in the morning, I'm on my way to church. Um, Janae did so she was gonna call me last night, but she has stuff to do with her mama and stuff, so she said she's gonna catch me next Sunday. So it's just me. Um, my uncle actually go to the church, he's been going for like 15, 13 years. So um, hopefully he still sits in the same spot. I'm gonna see where he showed me to sit like a couple months ago. Um, but yeah, the sun is beaming. I do need to put my car mount up so I can actually vlog in the car without holding this. But yeah, I'm surprised I actually was able to get up. Um, I got, I think like three more off days after this. Three or four more off days. So, not too bad. The church I go to was literally right up the street. It takes like five minutes to get here. Um, it do be packed out, baby. But this church, I know I can't be late because they start on time and they end on time because this isn't, this isn't like, this isn't like a black church just just gonna say it it's not a black church it's some black people that go here but it's mostly like white people but that's how my church was when i was in college and i mean i really liked it like i love my best pastor like my favorite pastor is pastor archie um when i went to arkansas state university in jonesboro he preached at i want to say it was called central baptist i'd have been to so many dang churches so i think it was central baptist was the name of that one and he was like amazing so um this kind of gives me the same vibes i haven't really been here a lot to really you know see what the pastor is all about here and like receive the word but yeah i'm excited to go um it starts at 9 and at 10 the service i go to they also got 11 o'clock one but i kind of like now that i'm getting older i kind of like to go to church earlier to like not really get it out the way but like get it out the way so i can just you know be good for the rest of the day and like get more stuff done so after this mcdonald's should still be open because they don't stop selling breakfast until 10 30. he usually get done like literally right at 10 maybe like 10 01 or a few minutes before 10. so i'm about to pull up right now i just got on this jacket from shein this shirt from like forever 21 some slacks from h m and yeah girl talking to y'all to miss the dang exit hold up Go party, come on. I'm back home. Actually didn't take the wrong turn. I was just talking and didn't realize where I was going. So yeah, I'm back home. 
Church was good. He didn't really preach today. They were like doing some some something about like single parents and I mean I ain't got no kids so it didn't really pertain to me so yeah two people got baptized two girls um a younger girl like eight then another one 21 I cried I always cry um but the 21 year old it kind of like related to me she said that she had um accepted Jesus Christ as her Lord and Savior at the age of like 9 10 I think but didn't get baptized and then she just got um publicly baptized at 21 and that's kind of how what happened with me. I accepted him in 2019 and I didn't get publicly baptized until last year. Um, so yeah, but I'm at home. Um, mama stressed me out with cash app and stuff. I feel like older people, the older generation, y'all need to take a class. <laughs> like they, there is a class at Apple that I really want my mom to attend. Nikki, my best friend, she was gonna have her dad um, like sign him up for classes and stuff because it's like the simplest things that they just don't understand and get our parents. So I, I just feel like y'all, they need to go take that class. Everybody who don't understand your iPhone or whatever, you need to go take a class because I just don't got the patience. Like literally she didn't call me three, four times trying to figure this out and I'm like, Oh my gosh so she's gonna call me back again on her freaking break so i'm gonna i'm gonna try to tell her to share her freaking facetime screen with me so i can at least see it hopefully she can be able to share the screen if she can figure out how to share the screen then everything will be perfect so she didn't ask her co-worker stuff i'm like i know i know you on a nurse <laughs> she was like i'm sorry <laughs> anyways love my mom don't take that out of context um looking on my little to-do list that i had so today is sunday i'm just going to start with saturday so i was supposed to post a youtube video did that then i was supposed to do the she on she and try on portion i actually did that um yesterday so i'm just going to check it and then i also had to cook and meet up to drop off my hair pickup order so i did that so saturdays did everything i was supposed to do Friday, I was supposed to pay bills, did that. Go to the furniture store with Bay, did that. Um, finished my entrepreneur vlog. I did that, it's uploaded. And then do the thumbnail, so did that. And then Saturday was yesterday. So I was supposed to work on figuring out my website. And then, really that was all for Saturday. But I kind of was like picking up the slack from like the previous days. So I'm gonna work on the website today. So I'm just gonna go ahead and um check that she actually sent me my website obviously by the time this goes out y'all already going to see it but if you don't see it by now this is what it is so these are the banners that she sent me that's going to be on my website ajb beauty collection i told her to change what this says and to change what this one says because i'm not going to be selling custom units like anytime soon so i want that to say something different um so sunday was to go to church did that um catch up on my youtube videos i kind of already caught up on my youtube videos on i want to say like friday night i just kind of took the friday night to just chill and relax um so I kind of already did that. I'm going to check that. Today I said to chill and then self-care motivation. Oh, I don't know what that is. And then getting my life together. I think I was supposed to edit a video today. So I am going to try to edit today, but I have a few stops to make. So basically I did everything on my to-do list which is good tomorrow's my boyfriend's birthday so I don't know if I'm gonna go down there tomorrow because I gotta go right back down there on Wednesday so I'm trying to figure out how do I want to do this because he actually works on his birthday but he's gonna be off on Wednesday so like do I want to go down there he he's gonna be at work so if I don't go down there like today I'm only gonna see him like tonight and then a few hours in the morning but it's like it's your birthday so I do want to see you on your birthday but it's like I'm not going to be able to spend Monday night, Tuesday night, and Wednesday night because, I mean, I got stuff to do here. So, I don't know. I may I may spend the night Tuesday to be there for Wednesday. And then, like, come... I don't know. I don't know. I got to figure that out. But I'm trying to get everything done that I need to get done, like, behind the scenes and stuff. So, on my agenda today, I do got to go pick up his birthday gift. Um... 
this his birthday is tomorrow so it doesn't matter i'm getting him an apple watch um so yeah i gotta go pick that up and i gotta get groceries and i gotta get the dog some more food so this kind of turned into like a week in my life or like a weekend in my life so like behind the scenes of a content creator and you know just whatever else i got going on so yeah i'll check back in with y'all when i probably i think i'm getting it from best buy put it down in here chewing on a freaking leaf Whew, i may i may take these dogs to my mom i'm, I'm not even playing <laughs> or at least one of them because i need to go pick up something from her anyway so i had originally wanted last week to take prints over there for like four days and then just keep oreo here so i can like train him without prints here um with, you know, I think I already talked about this. Like, with him seeing Prince, like, they just want to play all day. And then it's like, one will listen, the other won't listen. Or it just takes a minute for him to have all his attention on me. So, usually when I'm training Oreo, I have to put Prince in my bedroom. And then just, like, train Oreo. But then it's like, Prince, like, what the hell am I in the bedroom for? And he just starts scratching on the door. And then it, like, distracts Oreo. So, I think I may end up just going to my parents' house today. Um, and taking Prince over there. And then I'm going to just keep Oreo here. So, I don't know, we'll see. Whew, but it's, it's only 11.37, so I've been up since 8.30. So I do like waking up early to have all of my day. So I'm gonna try to wake up again at like eight o'clock tomorrow. So I'm about to um see about his watch and then wait on my mama to call me back. And I do need to clean up a little bit. I'm supposed to post a video today at three o'clock. So that's already set and ready to go. Ads are on there, everything's good, so. Yeah, I feel very productive. I've been getting a lot of stuff done. And I'll check back in with y'all a little bit later. So it's 1.54 right now. I think I am actually gonna make today a lazy day because I don't know, I think I said I started my cycle after like four months. Um, I am probably gonna go see a gynecologist because you definitely need to have your period monthly, but it's kind of been like that ever since I got off of birth control last year. I was on the patch, the very last one that I was on. I've tried two different birth controls before, the peel and the patch. Um, and I also, what's I gonna say? Oh, this was my train of thought. Um, anyways, I'm not really feeling it today. Um, I'll probably go grocery shopping like later on, probably just to get a few things to stock up on. And then I got a timer set for Oreo. Um, since he just ate, I'm gonna take him out in an hour and 44 minutes, but I'm about to lock them in my room so I can watch him. Um, I am gonna try to take him out every three hours for the next couple days to try to get him completely potty trained. He doesn't poop in the house, y'all know. He'll still pee in the house. So I'm gonna try to take him out every three hours. Hopefully this little system works. And I've been trying to praise him outside and I may start giving him treats again when we go outside. So I'm about to go in my room, fold some clothes and lock them in the room with me so I can keep an eye on him because he'll been in out been out here and pissed on everything. <laughs> I'm sorry. I just had to pause Ray's week. I'm only three minutes and six seconds in. Obviously, y'all already saw the on B-roll. And I just wanted to say, I am so glad she's bringing this back. Do y'all watch Raven Elise? I be looking at my analytics and it say that y'all, my viewers watch like Raven Elise, like the people I watch, Raven Elise, Kyle Lachey, All of Destiny. Um, I don't, I'm not subscribed to, or um, I'm not subscribed to, Uh, I think her name's, it's, Maya Lachey or something like that. I watched a few of her videos, um, more like the business side of things. I just never really just watched her like that, but a lot of y'all watch her. And there's some more people on my stuff that y'all watch, but I just love Raven. Like, Raven is the one who wanted, let me see, I'm getting too excited. <laughs> Raven is one of the ones who wanted me, I mean, oh my God. <laughs> 
let's try that again raven is one of the youtubers who inspired me to become a youtuber when i was in high school she was in college so like my freshman year of high school i think she was like a freshman a sophomore in college so i'm just i was watching her and y'all ogs know og youtubers know or subscribers know raven elise and jayla corian was the ogs her and um i think like it's vicky logan um rachel rochelle something like that like those were the ogs and it's like oh my god like i want to do this one day like they inspired me so much oh my gosh but yes i'm just so excited like girl ray's week was it and sometimes i be wanting to go back and like just restart them over but i'm the type of person who like i can't really re-watch stuff like unless i'm trying to like specifically find something or need that information from something i just can't go back and like re-watch like old stuff because it's like I already know especially with blogs it's like I already know the future like we, we already in the present like <laughs> i just can't watch old stuff like i don't know it's just weird like i just my mind can't fathom of watching old stuff when i already know like the true real reality if that makes sense i don't know but yes i just i'm just so excited i love ray's week i love raven oh i can't wait to meet her one day but yeah and I already know what y'all gonna come in. Maybe y'all probably think like, yes, like we want to see y'all weekly, day to day, whatever. I know, I know. I be trying. <laughs> That's why I'm like, I feel it. Like I feel it from the side of being a content creator, a YouTuber, whatever. Like I feel it from it being like overwhelming, trying to like produce content, get up and vlog, do stuff every day, make it, you know, make it entertaining for y'all, different things like that. Like I get that aspect, of everything. But it's also like I'm a viewer. I'm her subscriber. Like I'm you're a fan you know in a sense like so it's like girl i need raise week i need a new mother video every sunday what do you mean so it's 50 50 i get both sides i really do that's why i am vlogging right now trying to produce more content i'm literally about to just fold clothes right now so i'm not going to record that it's boring um but yeah i just had to say that i'm sorry i'm, I'm done ranting ranting it's just uh, i just loved raise week like it's definitely a vibe and I have to post it on my Instagram. I'm so glad she's bringing this back. Oh, geez, no. Period. But all right. Thanks for coming to my TED Talk. See you later tonight. If your labels are opening within Safari, Safari adds some extra margins and so forth uh, to it. So what we recommend is either opening your labels with Chrome, uh, Firefox. Open so I'm going to use their mock-up right here. Then we're going to um, file, go down to print. And there it goes. This is so cool. I cannot wait to have y'all's names on here. So this is the shipping label and then it just comes off. Obviously, I will peel this off and then stick. Quick little grocery haul. Just picked up. The stuff that I ran out of <laughs> literally have no groceries left. Mm -hmm. My mom gave me that. That it also they picked me some good eggs. I'll be trusting them picking eggs. Roast bread, cheese, cheese for cheese dip, beef and chicken broth, spaghetti, sharp cheddar, got the big box of cereal. They gave me the big old box of macaroni. I don't even know if I selected that. Fruit snacks stuff to make i use this for waffles heavy whipping cream needed some more forks i needed snacks so my snacks are these crackers um 
this and I also like the snack on cheese and I don't know I thought I had another snack I guess not and then pizza got some candy I thought I ordered a big bag of chips so I'm gonna have to go order get another bag of chips because this is gonna be enough for me for that rotel and like that's it like one serving and I don't know why these look like wet they're like coming off but it's cream of chicken I got this like last year, never tried it. So I got another one to try it. Chicken broth with low sodium and then the pizza. And that's all I got in this haul. It's super simple. Just needed to re-up on all the basics and restock the pantry a little bit. Um, so yeah, right here is where all of my fruit snacks go. Um, actually, this is where the fruit snacks go. This is where the cheeses go. Noodles go back there. Should've got some more of that. I should've looked in my pantry before I ordered stuff, duh macaroni goes right here the elbows go right here spaghetti goes in that one i forgot i usually order the half sticks of that and yeah potatoes go right here bread go right there so i'm about to just pack all this up i feel like this vlog is long enough um hopefully you enjoyed this vlog um i feel like i should have enough footage by now more than enough footage so i do thank you guys for watching and tuning in and to my next video i will see you lovelies then don't forget to like comment and subscribe it helps me out a lot and yeah i'll see y'all in the next one bye guys it's a big gap between us in the game in the next life i'm trying to stay paid when i die I put my money in a when i die I put my money in a grave i really gotta put a couple niggas in a place really just slap every nigga in a race i really might tap in this nigga on my face well cc let it slap with the base i used to save holes with a mask in a cave now i'm like nah love i'm good go away ain't about to die with no money i done gave i was on top when that shit meant a lot still on top like i'm scared of the drop still on top when these niggas wanna swap niggas wanna swap like a sauce in a box i don't wanna change cause i'm good where i'm at my ties, so I'm always good where I'm at. Word of Junior, Jazzy, Baby J. Tell them when I die, put my money in them. Couple freakers kill a skull and collect. She fuck a nigga, then she on to the next. Really living large, she ain't all with a Mac. When you niggas think it's small, in the mall with a rat. Roll with us if you really want to get it. Woke we'll get a half a million in the Sprinter. Phone ringing, bitches know a big triple. I got a hook up in it, really no limit. Dead brokers in you nigga DNA. Ricky's mother syndicated with his head. Little nigga, just another state case. Very nine motherfucker, chase bank, time to bounce. Gotta count on my allowance. You niggas push it, so I gotta rebound it. The nigga dripping like I got a zillion dollars. Got the trap jumping like time when the free pop. Then I'm out. Then I never talk about it. The homie squad, but we all smoke the lobs. Rich niggas in the middle of being modest. Cause the way I do my deals, never treat it like I bought this nigga house. You could DM my account. My DM six figures and I'm counting. Nine figures was the gold till I get to these niggas ain't living so very mind with me. Off the When I die, put my money in a grave. I really gotta put a couple niggas in a place. Really just slap every nigga in a race. I really might tap till this nigga on my face. Let it slap with the bass. I used to save hoes with a mask in a cave. Now I'm like, nah, love, I'm good, go away. Ain't about to die with no money I done gave you. Yeah.